it's M, and today we're going to be looking at the Apple Watch Series 3 Nike Plus. The one we have here is a 42mm GPS version. Now, a lot of people talk about how it looks and its notifications, but in this review, we're going to mainly focus on what nobody talks about. Fitness. You're probably asking yourself, what's new about Series 3 if it doesn't have cellular? Well, it has a bigger battery, a boosted dual-core W2 processor, and an altimeter. Now, Series 3 runs watchOS 4 right out of the box, and for the first time, the Apple Watch is actually fast. So let's get right into that fitness. So the Nike Plus comes with the Nike Run Club app, which I personally don't have set up, but right now you're looking at Apple's activity app. It has a ton of workouts and indoor and outdoor versions of everything. With the altimeter sensor, Series 3 is much more accurate, including walking, biking, and running. So with the cellular Apple Watch, you can now stream music with your Bluetooth headphones. Since we don't have the cellular, I downloaded some music and I ran with it. It's actually really nice to not have your phone. But yes, there is an option to download the music if you don't want to waste your data. I really, really enjoy Apple's running app because you can pause and or water lock your Apple Watch if you're going through water or it starts raining. Like last year, this year's watch is still waterproof to 164 feet, which is insane. All you have to do is make sure you water lock the device. Now, I recommend not using any nice bands when you go in water. To eject the water from the speaker, rotate the digital crown to hear this sound. Here's part of the video where I talk about if it's worth it to buy an Apple Watch without cellular. After using it for a couple of weeks, I experienced parts where I really needed my phone to text or call somebody, so I would say get cellular. So, convenience and usability. WatchOS 4 paired with Apple Watch Series 3 is a perfect combination. Everything is easier, more fluid, and it's just faster. So, the watch face you're looking at right now is Nike's watch face. It only comes on Nike Plus, and Nike Plus doesn't cost anything more than Apple Watch Sport Edition, so I'd say just spend the same amount of money on a Nike Plus and get different bands. The only problem is you can't get gold with Nike Plus. So a lot of people ask me at this point in time where the Apple Watch has been out for a couple of years and do you really need an Apple Watch? After living with it for two weeks and going a couple days without it, yes. It makes everything so much easier, faster. I can walk around my house without carrying my phone everywhere and do quick replies, check notifications like Instagram posts without going upstairs to get my phone. I have been experiencing a glitch or a problem, I don't know, where I'll get a phone call and I'm connected to my Beats. I'll take a phone call on my Beats and it goes to the phone in my pocket. It's really inconvenient and it's super annoying. This is the part of the video I have been dreading. So, looks. Apple has some brand new bands. This is the new black nylon band. It feels okay, I'm not a fan, but these bands are really expensive. It's gotten to a point where there's leather bands that are more expensive than the watch itself. Like seriously, Apple, money doesn't grow on trees. All in all, though, the platinum white with the black Nike band is so nice, it's my favorite one. So there you have it, my likes, dislikes. All in all, it's a great watch. If you don't want to spend the three to four hundred dollars that this watch is, they still sell Series One. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. See you in the next video. M is out. Also, stick around till Friday because we will have an iPhone X unboxing.